I'm Ms. Artastic and today we're going to create an artwork that explores complementary colors that uses oil pastels or wax crayons and paint. Grab your mark making mediums and let's get started. Don't forget to keep your eyes open for Van Gogh's Starry Night as it's hidden somewhere in this video. For our artwork that explores complementary colors, we're going to begin by designing a background. So I want you to think of a shape, either organic or geometric, and, or both, and then you can draw them with either wax crayon or oil pastels in the background. Now you are only using two colors for this entire artwork, so you need to think of a pair of complementary colors that you're going to use, whether it's going to be yellow and purple, red and green, or blue and orange. For my design, I'm going to use yellow and purple, but you choose which two colors you're going to use. One color will be used for the background, in this case I'm going to be using yellow, and your other color you're going to use for the subject, which will be the paintbrush that has your name on it. For my artwork, I'm going to use one organic shape and one geometric shape. My geometric shape is going to be a triangle, and my organic shape is going to be a swirl. So you're going to draw them in your background, but you're going to leave lots of space in between your shapes, and then you're going to color them in. And you're using either a wax crayon or an oil pastel because they resist paint. Once you're done coloring all your triangles and swirls, you're going to grab some paint. Now you can use whatever you want. I just use like, I like to use watercolor, but feel free to use paint cakes. You can water down acrylic or tempura and mix it with a lot of water to make it a liquid. And then once you have a liquid, yellow paint or whatever color you have chosen for your background, you're going to paint your background. And those shapes that you drew are going to resist the water. Now you can do higher concentrations of your paint to make a darker value of your color or you can leave it watery so that the shapes stand out or you can do a combination of both, which is what I like to do to make it a little bit more visually interesting.
Once you're done painting your background, you're going to take your background, carefully go place it somewhere to dry. Next, we're going to draw our paintbrush and some paint splotches that we're going to add around our composition. First, we're going to draw a paintbrush handle. So just draw a long, oblong shape. And then to thicken it up, we're going to take our black marker and go around just the outside. So really just the three sides, one, the end, which would be two, and then back this way for three. And this will provide a little bit more contrast to help it stand out. Okay, next we're going to add the little metal piece that holds the paintbrush hairs to the handle. We're also going to add a little piece there for the glare of light. And then we're going to draw the paintbrush hairs using a variety of zigzag lines. You're also going to go around this shape one more time with your marker to add a little bit more value or strengthen the intensity. We want it to be just a little bit thicker so that it stands out. Wonderful. Next, we're going to draw some squiggly lines for the paint on the end of the paintbrush tip. Then you can add some lines for texture of bristle hair. And I add a little bit of a curve because when we look at a paintbrush, it's a curving cone shape, really. So we want to make that look like a cone. I'm going to add along the bottom some hatching lines for some shading along the handle of the paintbrush. And the metal part. Next, you can add your name. <clears throat> Try again. Next, you can add your name and you can add it however you want. Perfect. Next, we're going to add some paint blob or splotches. We want to draw three of them. And then you can also add one around the bristles. Next, you're going to find your wax crayon or oil pastel, that is your second color. So for my art project, I'm using purple as my second color. And then you can go ahead and first color all the blobs or splotches.
Next, we're gonna color a lot of the paintbrush with our second color. I'm just gonna do part of the paint on the brush here. I'm gonna leave the rest because we're gonna paint in part of it. This we'll do with a neutral, beige and kind of like brown sort of, and gray is a neutral. This one, not so much, but gray is a neutral and we're gonna use it for in here and this will be brown. But the rest here, we're gonna do with um, paint and oil pastel. For my name, I'm going to color it with my pastel, but I'm going to paint the handle. That way, it'll stand out. Okay, so gray on that metal piece and then brown for the hairs on my paintbrush. And finally, I'm going to get a purple paint. And I'm gonna let it be more watery than concentrated so that way, oops, my name all stands out. So now we have our second color done and I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and when both are dry, we're going to cut them out. Once all your elements are dry, you're going to get your background and you can see all the great texture that happened when it dried. And then you're also going to go get your paintbrush and blobs and now we have to cut them out. But as you cut, feel free to leave some white around all the shapes because that's going to add some contrast to your artwork so that things pop out a little bit better. Okay, so once we have this all cut out, we're going to grab our glue. First, I want you just to play around and see which way you want to glue it. So you can have it simple, but you can put things on an angle. And you can play around with your other elements too and see where they would best fit. And once you're satisfied with your placements, you can go ahead and glue all these elements down.
And once you're done gluing, your artwork that explores complementary colors is complete. Hey there, I'm Kathleen McGivern, and I'm a professional artist, teacher, and the creator of Ms. Artastic. As an artist, I create lowbrow artworks and have shown my work in both commercial and public galleries. I'm also Ms. Artastic, and I create art teaching resources and art lessons for Artastic Nation. If you're an art teacher, educator, or art studio instructor, then this is for you. The Artastic Collective is a community where you can access a library of art resources and lessons created by me, Kathleen McGivern, or by the name you most likely know me as, Ms. Artastic. With your membership, you can access an art resource library with new resources being added to the community both weekly and monthly. This art resource library is made up of resources from my TPT store and resources that I create exclusively for the Artastic Collective. This will take care of your lesson planning, allowing you to have clarity for what to teach, the convenience of clicking, printing, and teaching immediately, direction for where to go with your year-long plan, and speedy lesson planning, which will allow you to have your freedom back. As well, you will get to engage with a community of other art teachers and instructors in the Members Only Forum. In addition to this, you can get help from me and the other art teachers in the forum at any time or bounce ideas around and collaborate with other members. As well, you can join me for monthly question and answer live video conferences. I'll also host virtual meetups and provide you with monthly challenges to help you on your journey of success. Can't wait to see you there.